disavowed. A nearby agent has been disavowed for the division. YouTube what it do, it's your boy Who's Tyree, back with another video, now today I'm bringing you my tank build, now shout out to Wiz for this blueprint, he made it possible, and I just piggyback and made a little OP build, now, as you can see, I'm running one piece Murakami, one piece Aradi, one piece Summit, and then three piece Gilligar. now the three piece Gilligar is nothing special, you don't have to run all three of them, but you do mainly have to use one of them for the extra armor, but if you don't know this, Gilligar gives you the most mod slots per gear category. So if you didn't know that, now you know. Now, saying that, I'm gonna start off with the chest piece because I do use two different chest pieces. I got the same exact rolls on both of them, but one got Berserk and one got Vital. So if you do got a chest piece with Berserk and Vital on it, salute to you because you got the best of both worlds. But I use Berserk when I'm playing like Conflict and I use the Vital if I'm playing like uh, optimize or like just PVE so this is like the best of both worlds build now the one with the berserk has like 200 more bonus armor now I got three mod slots on both I got health 2500 and then 2700 bonus armor with two and a half weapon damage and then down here I got 2500 health 2500 bonus armor with 2% weapon damage now on the mask, health, crit hit chance, and I got damage to release at the bottom. Now I would use like the uh, restorative talent or e even the uh, self adjusting. Now it just depends on like how you, how you got your roles, but crit hit chance and health is like mandatory. Now holster, I'm gonna end up switching up the holsters because I got 10,000 health on here and I got 2,800 health on kill. But like I said, Gilligar gets the most mod slots, and I got two mod slots, but they both are offensive. Now, if they was defensive, it would have made me more of a tank, but since they are offensive, I can't use them because you had to be at five offensive points or less to use Strain and Safeguard, and that's key for this build. So, it's blank right now. Now, I am at like 53, 54% crit hit chance. So, uh, and you got a mask, I mean a holster that got surgical, that'd be key. Like I do have this one right here. It got health, crit hit chance, and then surgical. So that'll give me an extra 18 and a half crit hit chance, but that'll put me at least 10% over the cap, which will make it like useless. So if I can get at least 10,000 health with surgical, then that's clutch right there. Uh, what I got down here, health on kill. So I'm gonna try to mix it up later on, but I'm not gonna try to do too much because we are getting uh, tier 5 this Friday So if I don't fix it before the end, then I'm not really worried about it But after tier 5 then I will come back and remake this build with all 500 gear score pieces So that's when I actually like take take it like series and all that so Like I said, if it was two defensive mods, I would have, I would have been a super tank Now with the knee pads, I got patience at the top now patience is like super beneficial for this build and in like any build period any build in general and you got patience is hey it helps out a lot especially if you're doing pve now after being in cover for three seconds armor repairs itself by five percent every second so every second after three seconds every second you're getting five percent of your armor now i got about like 35 armor bars they go in the increments of five when I take cover and this kicks in, it gives me like almost four bars per second. So you use this with the chem launcher, you will be back at 100% in no time. Now I got two mods down here. I got 1700 health. I'm looking for some more defensive protocol mods so I can get that up there. You see the rest of mine got like 2500 or more. So if I can get that, now I'll be straight. 
So, 1700 on the health and then 2300 on the bonus armor. And I got 7500 health as the attribute. On the gloves, I got 5% crit chance with clutch. And then, if I can like switch my mods around, I put defensive on this because all my skill power is coming from the utility mods and I don't need the skill power so it's kind of useless so if I can put like defensive mod here and then one on the backpack and then two on the holster super tank now I got on my backpack health crit hit damage vital safeguard and then down here like I said another useless mod I wish it was defensive now hopefully like when tier 5 drops I can like switch these up and get this exact build with all defensive mods and then it's GG. I'm gonna be a walking tank for real. I'm gonna have at least at least 200,000 armor with like 100 and about 25,000 health. Now if I get like that, especially with the 60% crit chance, I would never die unless I get jumped. But still, I would never die. But this is how I'm rocking this build. Like I said, if you got, um. Berserk and Vital as one on like a Gilligar piece with three mod slots, you clutch. You got Surgical on your holster, you clutch. Now you don't got strain on your weapon. You can stack like crit damage all over to at least like 70%. But if you do got strain, you do got Berserk, then stack crit chance up until you at 60% crit cap. That's the only thing I recommend. But like right now, it is a couple days four or five days before tier fives drop. So if you don't get it right now, don't even really don't even really focus too hard on it because we all gotta farm again with tier five drop. That's why that's my whole thing with the vector. If I don't get the nine mil before uh, tier five drop, I'm not really too pressed about it because I get it after. I'd rather have a 500 gear score vector than a uh, 450. But showing you my mods on here, now I am trying to look for that site that gives you, I think it's like 12% crit hit chance and then um, minus 10% headshot damage. So you know where that's that exactly. Let me know in the comment section to help me out. But I'm still on the hunt for that. I've been doing level three checkpoints, I mean control points. So hopefully I'll find it before somebody even comment. But if not, still comment and let me know just in case I ain't find it. But that's all for this video. I showed you both ways how I run it. I showed you how to make the build better. It's your boy, Hulu's Tyree, man. You still got questions about the build? You still you still need answers or something like that? Let me know. I'll help you out. And you still trying to farm. There's a lot of people that's not tier 4 yet. You got to get that, get that farming on. Uh, I will help you farm. If you're on Xbox, I will help you out. Um, I said that on the, my last video. I will help you out. Get you to tier 4. So that way you are already ready for tier 5 when it drop. But just let me know for that. Um, send me a message on Xbox. Who is Tyree YT? It's the gamer tag. But other than that, uh, drop a like on this video. Sub to the channel if you're new. And like I said, you need help. Comment down below. It's your boy, Who is Tyree? And I'm out. Pussy, we get to move shit like RV. I fuck your bitch and change my clothes like I'm Clark Kent. Hey, I'm that nigga that like the star shit. Walk out that bar now. Yeah, lights get his car lit. Hey, I'm a working ass nigga with no time for games. Use a purple ass nigga, you all kinds of lame.